hey guys welcome back to my channel um happy monday today's monday start of the week happy new week hope you're all having a blessed week so far sorry i'm just holding my latte um this weather's so up and down the sun's out now but it was a bit chilly this morning um, i just wanted to record this video today because um jamal my oldest um obviously we recently moved so i've been trying to change his school for some time now so so this morning he had his first morning session there and then next week he's going to have an afternoon session and then the following week after that he's going to start full time so um today when i dropped him off he was really upset in the morning like he was begging me saying please mommy come with me but obviously like i couldn't go in with him because he has to go in and settle for himself i was so upset when i left him because i genuinely did not expect him to behave like that i don't look at him and see like ASD like the autism spectrum disorder I just look at him and see Jamal when he behaves like in a certain way I, I still am genuinely shocked every time because I just like maybe because he, his um ASD isn't I don't think it's severe 90% like of the time you wouldn't even be, be able to tell I was really shocked and I was so upset like having to leave him and stuff but and it made me think like oh am I making a mistake like should I keep him at his old school but um, when I picked him up, he was so happy. Like the first thing he said to me is, mummy, I'm happy. Like him saying, mummy, I'm happy. It really just made me like feel so at ease because it just made me feel like, okay, cool. I'm making the right decision. And the teacher said that he did really well. Like he was like saying hello to everyone and stuff. So he had a good time. So like, I'm happy. Like I made that decision for him to change. It takes time anyway. Like you can't just go into something and just settle in. I think even us as adults, when you're going to start like a new job, or move into a new place like just start anything new even if it's going to the gym anything like you're always anxious at first yeah, i just wanted to share that with you guys because obviously i want to bring you guys along with me on um the kids and their journey joelle's also been having speech therapy um i don't really see the benefit in that to be fair like i feel like because we was waiting for two years i feel like i've done a lot of the stuff at home with him it's like jamal yesterday said to me he came into the front room and he said to me mummy my tv is not working and you know like when he talks now like i don't even take the time to like really take it in and think like oh my gosh i can't believe you actually just said a whole sentence to me and to someone else another parent with a child that age um you, like you'd probably think like oh like what's the big deal but it is a big deal because this time last year i'm sure all he could say was mum and dad he couldn't say any, like a lot of words at all so it's just crazy to think that he's six years old and his speech has developed so much more. So it gives me hope for like the future that um, it's just going to continue to develop. Like Joel, he's doing really well as well. Um, he's about to start big school. I've got him a place as well at um, Jamel's school. So I'm um, like, they're going to start together in September. In terms of me, my mental health, um, it's a lot better. I feel like now recently, my motto has just been, um, we don't know how long we're going to be here for so like let's just live life let's just live life and enjoy it and i really try to have a balance obviously i do everything i can for the kids in terms of like their therapy school and just making sure like they're they're getting everything they're meant to get and like once i know that the kids are sorted then it's me time and i make sure that whenever i have like time to myself i really try to enjoy myself and I really want to like book a holiday as well like i want to book a holiday with the kids and i also want to book a holiday with my friends this year because i'm just really just trying to enjoy life do you know what i mean <laughs> um in terms of like work and stuff i'm really just thinking about what i want to do because as much as like nursing is um i wouldn't say like it's not fulfilling like with nursing like I like the fact that I can help people and they get something from that. Like, I like to help people. That's why when people ask me, oh, why did you go into nursing? And I say, oh, because I genuinely want to help people. They think that that's such a cliche thing to say and that that's what everyone says, but it's actually the truth. Well, with me anyway, because nowadays you go online and you see people talking about, oh, I only went into nursing like because I know it's a guaranteed job or to get money. That's not why I went into nursing. I actually wanted to help people. Like, I thrive off of making people happy. But that's, like, to be honest, you can't only do something like that for the rest of your life like just making other people happy that's not fulfilling myself if you get what i mean i don't know if that's something i want to go back into i just want to look at all my options and stuff um so yeah i'm that's the kind of like the level that i'm on at the moment just thinking about what i'm going to do and what work i'm going to go back into 
because the time is approaching joelle's going to big school soon so yeah i'm gonna get back out there i feel like nowadays when i'm around pe um children or people i feel like because um of like having to go through like the whole autis um, autism and the diagnosis and stuff i feel like i can kind of tell when i see like adults children anyone like well not anyone but some people i feel like i can kind of tell when they have the autism spectrum disorder um and it, it feels like it's coming up becoming a lot more common or is it just me i don't know i feel like when we was younger we didn't see that around as much maybe that maybe we just didn't notice maybe i didn't notice because i was young and i was focused on other things but yeah um i don't know i just wanted to make this video as like a little catch up to be fair um let me know if there's anything else that you guys want me to um make a video on hope you're all well take care don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time bye